this all is all about a virus that infects a computer in such a way that uh, it encrypts files so they can no longer be opened or, or read by traditional means. Um, and it's done so that uh, the particular users or company, as is often the case, is um, held effectively to ransom if they do want to get their data or their information back. Usually comes through emails, um, doesn't come in as junk mail, so it usually will come through as a completely normal email. Unsuspecting, you double click on it and you end up having all of your files completely um, encrypted that are on your machine or that you have access to from other machines. They don't target anybody particularly, they target everybody. So generally speaking, um, email is their main form of uh, infecting people with this particular virus and often once a computer is infected it's sometimes the case that that computer then becomes a means for sending out more emails to people in that person's contact list as well so it propagates on its own as well um, which is part of the reason why it's so widespread it, once they open it up uh, normally you don't they don't even know that's the scary thing so nothing shows up on the screen uh, it's just running and they go oh nothing's open and usually just ignore it and they'll close the email or something like that and just go back to doing the normal work. You can have you can have your computer on for four days and if you're connected to seven network drives on your server it'll infect all of that. You don't know about it until you've restarted your machine and then it shows up with a box that says crypto locker. Uh, you need to pay two bitcoins by this time and this date or it's going to increase. After you pay the, the ransom for these particular files that you've lost or have been encrypted, you get sent a small program that uh, you copy locally to a computer on the network and then you feed into that particular program the files that have been encrypted or affected by this virus. That then contains the decryption key for these files so it puts them all back in the order that they're supposed to be in and so the files once again become readable and usable in their standard programs. Um, that's, it's a relatively quick and easy thing to actually do once you have the program, but obviously without the program, it's not impossible. This is, like I said, it comes through as a legitimate email. It, you know, you could have 14 different spam filters and I could probably say it would pop through. The most important thing that we can do to uh, secure our clients from this particular virus is ensure that all of their important data is backed up. Um, if you have backups of data, then regardless of what happens to them, be they deleted or encrypted or lost, then we can restore those backups and they can continue running as per normal. Uh, it's also usually the quickest way to actually resolve this particular problem. Even if they were willing to pay the ransom and they wanted to go through that process, there's still a delay involved in making that happen and most businesses can't afford that kind of delay. So it's much quicker for us to restore the backups that they've got and get them up and running again in a matter of hours as opposed to several days. And that's the only way that we're able to sort of stop this now. We make sure all our backups are up to date. They run every day. We keep seven to 14 day retentions back. So if they do get it, you know, it, we could very much fix this virus within maybe half an hour, depending on how big their backups are. If, if they had the backups that are up to date, they get the virus, we just instantly will send someone out there, they'll remove the virus, they'll put in what we call crypto locker defense, which stops it from coming in, and then we just restore their backups, and they're usually back up running by the end of the day.